All right. So I got a Windows NT 4.0 virtual machine up and running in VMware. You're gonna see wonder see what I'm what I'm gonna be doing with this NT 4.0 virtual machine. That basically we're gonna see how Windows NT 4 handles the modern internet. So we're gonna take a look at system properties to show you what ver actual version of Windows NT 4 that we're using. Because as you see, it's, it does have Internet Explorer 6, but I don't know why it says IE5 to a certain extent, but it's not really a big deal. But So I'm going to show you what version of Windows NT4 that you're going to need if you're going to use modern web, like new, certain versions of web browsers. So I'll go ahead and type it in Winver. Move that box right over here. You're going to need Service Pack 6, with a, which is basically the highest service pack that Windows NT has. But this is actually Service Pack 6A, which is fixed a lot of bugs and had a lot of improvements to Windows NT 4.0. So you're basically going to need Service Pack 6A. And for Internet Explorer, the highest version, like a Said I do have Internet Explorer 6, but as a, you, you need Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1, and I'm going to show you that that this virtual machine is actually running Service Pack 6, I mean, Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1, my tongue got a little twisted. So as you see, it loads Bing with no problem. You can actually open up MSN with no problem. You can even do Bing images, but not every website is going to work on Windows NT 4.0. Like, let's say you want to do YouTube. Or you could do Facebook. Sometimes Google will work with older versions with Internet Explorer, depending on the way they're set. But as you see, this virtual machine doesn't like certain websites, but like the most popular website that everybody like to check out on old virtual machines is Toasty Tech. That website actually loads up with no problem. Or if you do 95isalive.com. But a good website like my Windows page, which you can get a lot of older applications for older versions of Windows, and it loads up with no problems. But most of the most of the websites don't really truly load up right because of most of them are using like newer versions of Flash Player and for newer versions of Java and basically HTML5. But there's an, an alternative to Internet Explorer that actually works in Windows NT 4.0, and I'm going to show you Firefox. Once my um, once Firefox can load on this Windows NT virtual machine, but as you see, it doesn't like modern networks, it, so it might take a little while for Windows NT to load. Because when most older versions of Windows is very finicky when it become when it's when it comes to modern networks, so you know, my task manager. I'm gonna show you all guys a little cool trick if those of you who aren't familiar with Windows NT four. So let's open up Firefox. And as you see, Google loads up with no problem. So for Firefox, we're using version 2.0.0.20. And you can do Google images, like for 
for example, like Windows NT4. But let's say if you want to do YouTube. I tried a bunch of websites like Bing. That loads up with no problem. See, Facebook loads up with no problem. Toasty Tech works with no problem. See, Beta Archive, that website, that's a popular website, but what about WinWorld? I probably didn't type it in right. So there's another browser that actually works, but it's pretty finicky. But let's take a look at Netscape Navigator. This is Netscape Navigator version 9. Uh, we're going to hit no on that. So we're using 9.0.06, one of the last versions of Netscape that can actually work for Windows and T4.0 as well as Windows 98. And it'll do the same thing as like Firefox because it's so yeah. That's just a little simple video showing you how Windows NT works with modern internet. But if there's other ways you can make it work, feel free to put them in the comment suggestions. Because there's a ways where you can disable image loading and the JavaScript. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video and thanks for watching.